Well, I am back with another dev blog. Uh, the team is here to help demonstrate we're going through the mission, campaign, and agenda system. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hello. As you can see, we're all part of the Colonial Defense Force. So to start out, um, we've got varying ranks, and I'm going to create an agenda in order to, in order to begin. Now, what is an agenda? An agenda is uh, basically... Um, it's an outline of the current goals that the higher-ups want completed in order to get the faction uh, going. Um, uh, this could range from, say, capturing a colony to controlling allies' territory or to defending defending your own. So I'm going to make one called Earth Patrol and I'm going to set it in Hong Kong. And it's just going to be a patrol mission. And we're going to still give it a description. And we're going to confirm that. And if I just close this and put it back up again, here is our Earth Patrol. Uh, now, to undertake the task of agenda, campaigns are set up, which are sort of like overarching operations of what's going to be uh, what's going to be happening. So you can only choose, or you should only be able to choose where uh, you'll be making a campaign, uh, where an agenda has got a campaign set up. So you select. An agenda, create a campaign in there. And I'm just going to call this uh, the first campaign. You can set uh, the priority on the campaign, low, medium, and high, and this will determine different payouts for a campaign. So I'm going to make a medium payout campaign. So if we open that, we select Earth Patrol, we have got first campaign. And we can go and look in a campaign. And here we've got the priority, how much it's going to pay out, the bonus, which is when the campaign is completed, and how many missions have been uh, been created. Uh, now, a campaign can have a maximum of uh, 20 missions. And the mission is basically a way to uh, get the campaign under running and complete the various goals. So we're going to create a mission. And I'm just going to call this Patrol Mission. Now you can set the number of members, you can have a maximum of 16 and a minimum of 2. We're just going to go for 7 for the moment. And I've created a special 2 minute one just to demonstrate that this all works. So you click confirm and what happens is a mission marker then gets spawned. And the players can interact with the mission marker to join the mission. So I'm going to I'm gonna interact with it. As you can see over here, let's go with this. Uh, it's generated a bunch of objectives, so we've got prevent team deaths, 0 out of 23, prevent door hacking, prevent door opening, uh, arrest criminals of faction, and prevent door opening again. And of course, I'm inside it and I'm the field marshal. Uh, these guys are going to join. Have you joined yet? About to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Aaron is joined. And as you can see, I'm a field marshal, which is rank 9, and he is only a private. Um, we're going to add other features later on. You'll be able to kick players, uh, you can cancel the mission, uh, you can leave a mission, you can join a mission. I can't do that because of course I am the mission leader and later on down the line we're going to uh, add the option to change who the mission leader is. Um, so what I'm going to do is once... Once he's joined, yeah, he's joined, we're going to start the mission. If you pay attention to this bit over here, it has changed the time from when the mission is going to start. So the mission's only going to run uh, 10 minutes, and the mission will basically log uh, various stuff that happens as you go about doing the time. So the objectives have got to be completed within the time limit, or prevented from being completed within the, the time limit in order for the mission to pay out. So if the mission doesn't get at least 75% of the objectives completed, uh, then you're not going to get any pay. The mission is going to be the main way that faction money is going to get towards player money. So, for example, if I go here and I select to hack the door, I provided a special hack override just so I can quickly override it. And what this will do is this should, um, if we rush back to the mission terminal and have a look inside of it, that should have logged uh, me hacking. If I go to view details, no, no, it hasn't. Okay, fair enough. It's meant to log the hacking of the mission terminal. 
Uh, there's going to be lots of different objects that can be hacked aside from doors. There'll be extractors which can be hacked. Um, there's going to be other mission terminals which can be hacked. So players do need to defend their mission terminal uh, when it's up there. Protecting it is vital. And this mission terminal here belongs to another, another faction. Uh, which I am the leader of for testing, but it's actually part of uh, the uh, Omni Sino Incorporated. And if we look at a few details, this mission has actually been logging uh, all of our previous missions, uh, all of our previous videos, and showing all of the various deaths. So, Colonial Defense Force member has been killed, etc., etc. So, if I actually go over and I change, uh, I change my faction from the. Uh, the CDF to Omniceno Incorporated. As you can see here, it now says I am president of Omniceno Incorporated. And I go, go back. And it's got rid of all the details. That's just, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Keep on the research. So that, long citizen. that is our plan for the mission system. It is it's still early work in progress, but that is what it is we want to get to get done and have working up and running. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again later. Bye. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him.